Psychologists have found that beyond its direct impact, homicide has serious negative effects on the lives of those who witnessed or followed reports about the incident. Considering its very small population, Grenada is known for its close-knit communities. Livingston Nelson is recognized as one of the persons who is well-connected with what some refer to as the grassroots of society. He traverses the Pearls Main Road daily as he plies his trade as an agribusiness entrepreneur. We ask him how Saturday's homicide is weighing on residents of Pearls and surrounding areas. This is extremely heavy and, um, and this situation is, is uh, it's very, very sad. Not just because a crime was committed, but because um, is the person, the, the, the person that got killed is someone known to show a lot of love to the, the actual the, the guy that did the crime. Um, it is so unfortunate that um, you know you took so you take somebody under your wing, and for some reason that person trip off, they had a mental breakdown, um, and then you know because of your kindness. You allow somebody into your home, someone, and, and, and to show a lot into of your heart, and then eventually they do um, you, you know, it for it with your life. Um, and so that is heavy. Several studies have been conducted to examine the psychological effects of crime on families, communities, and countries as a whole. A report which has been published by the World Health Organization points to anxiety, depression, post traumatic stress disorder aggression, guilt, and a heightened sense of vulnerability. This direct impact is not lost on Livingston Nelson. And a lot of persons are traumatized in the area because um, it is extremely frightening to believe that we can do that. And it's like, it's who next? Or who is the other person on the other side that can actually commit that crime? Nobody is walking around with a sticker or a number on the head or on the shoulder so to see, well, that person might be the next killer. You never know. So anytime it happens, particularly close to you, it, 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 it goes home, it sinks home, and it affects us quite negatively. Um, some people might become, you know, mistrustful of opening the doors again to somebody that you might think might be, just be going through a bad patch in life that you might be able to help them. But because it happened to, to Tom Jones on the road, you have a experience to, to do the same. So it was quite unfortunate. And if that's it, some of the police use, they are actually quite, quite unfortunate and a very painful incident, particularly for the people in Pearls. Nelson says it will take some time but it is hoped that people could join hearts and hands, embrace each other at this difficult juncture, and help with healing and the restoration of trust. For GBN News, Janelle MacDonald.